Hello everybody. Well, I am at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum, otherwise known as the Brick Yard. This place is pretty cool. They've got all kinds of different race cars from all different eras. And then they have the little stories attached to the race cars that tell what they did. But what makes the place even cooler is you get to take a bus tour around the raceway to where you can go out and actually kiss the bricks and feel what it's like to be on the racetrack. Obviously you don't get to feel it at 70 miles an hour or 230 miles an hour, but you get to feel when you go up around the turns how it slants. This is pretty cool. This is actually a workshop where they worked on some of the cars. But like I said, I don't record all the museums because I think you should come and see them. But this place is definitely cool. The other thing that makes it super cool is it's really inexpensive. It's 10 bucks to get in here. That's it, 10 bucks. Anyway, peace out everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Short shoots, each of which measure one eighth of a mile and are located at the north and south ends of the speedway. There are four turns, each a quarter mile in length from entrance to exit, and two straights, each measuring five-eighths of a mile. Altogether, these add up to a total track length of two and a half miles. You're probably beginning to feel the effects of our banking as we enter turn two. Each of our turns has nine degrees and 12 minutes of banking. If you look to the left, some of the viewing mounds are coming into sight. These are located throughout the infield of the track and are used by general admission ticket holders. Coming into view on the right are the Turn 2 Suites. Constructed in 1973, these suites offer a close-up vantage point to the action on track for VIP guests and sponsors. As we ride along the backstretch, keep in mind the track you're traveling is exactly the same as its 1909 layout, only the surface has changed. If you're wondering what happened to all those bricks, most of them are still beneath us, buried under several layers of asphalt. If any cars were on the track right now, you would see them speeding by at roughly 235 miles an hour. This would allow them to cover a football field in nine-tenths of a second. For safety purposes, we keep our buses restrained to a more leisurely pace. You may have noticed a golf course on either side of us. The original course was opened in 1929 and underwent a major redesign in 1992 to accommodate PGA specifications and the modern game. There are now four holes on the inside of the track and 14 beyond the back straightaway. The LPGA and Senior PGA Tours have held tournaments here. Another event added in October of 2016 saw sections of the golf course used as an obstacle course with inflatable pylons set up for the planes of the Red Bull Air Race. Events taking place over the track sky are nothing new. The very first competition held upon opening in 1909 was a balloon race and in June of 1910, the Wright brothers were part of a major aviation showcase here. The official IMS logo, the wings and wheel, highlight the automotive and aviation history of the Speedway. Up ahead is turn three. As we travel through the turn, be sure to look to your right along the wall. You will notice the safer barrier in front of the hard concrete. SAFER is an acronym for Steel and Foam Energy Reduction. This safety feature was developed by researchers at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in conjunction with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It was first installed here in 2002. The SAFER barrier is responsible for saving many drivers from serious injury and can now be found in nearly all major racing facilities in the United States. The rest of the course, which winds its way through the infield, was completed in 2004 Formula One. The course was updated in 2014 for the IndyCar Grand Prix. The roads at the time were unpaved and not accommodating to anything beyond horsebound travel. Indianapolis entrepreneur Carl Fisher had the idea to build a facility where automobiles could be tested and races held for constructors to showcase their new creations. As a result, in 1909, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway came into being. 